The big change in the way that Moodle 2 deals with files as opposed to Moodle 1.9 is it allows you uh, to not to completely circumvent the course files and to upload the file right in place in a section. And we're calling that uploading right in place. And essentially, it, it takes out half the process of, of, of the uploading process. So you're able to uh, take a file off your hard drive, and uh, you're in a section, and you add a resource, and then you upload the file right there. Let me demonstrate that for you. I'm going to get out of PowerPoint again. I'm going to get back into my course site. And of course, the first step is to uh, turn editing on. And after I've turned on the editing, I'm going to scroll down a little bit. And I'm going to add a resource, and the resource I'm going to add is called a file resource. And I'm going to call this uh, right in place. There we go. And scrolling down just a little bit, I'm going to click the Add button. And I'm going to upload a file. I'm going to browse for a file. I'm going to choose a file called Write in Place File. It's another PDF. Upload this file. And then the file is here, right in place. If I scroll down and save, we'll be able to see that file that's right there. Now, from a student's point of view, from a user's point of view, they can't tell whether a file is linked or right in place. They look just the same to the end users. For you, though, it's a different methodology of getting the file there. Incidentally, let me just go into course files very quickly and show that the right in place file is not in course files. It only exists uh, in the section uh, History of Chocolate, right here. OK, let's go back once again to the PowerPoint. A couple other items. You, you, if you wanted to, you could upload a, a file right in place in two places. And they would incidentally be completely separate from each other. They would not be linked in any way. If you wanted to, and I'm not sure why you would want to, but if you wanted to, you could even copy a file from one section into another section. So these write-in-place files, they're independent, they're standalone, and you find them only in the, in the sections.